Who are one Marty Six Room Roasters here today? I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on Indian Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And yeah, have you read the title? Yes, it's my birthday! Yeah! And today's the season finale of Flash is it. So yeah, birthday present. Even if I'm not like the graphic novel of Flash, still, this is it's my birthday. And I decided to do, you know what? I'll do a review of why I think Indian Jones and Kingdom of Crystal Skull is extremely underrated. <clears throat> now, I think this film does a great job at exploring Indy's character because he essentially meets his son in the film. Um, and to me, it makes a lot of sense, you know, because eventually, you know, it, it tries to develop as, you know, he's trying to make sure his son is safe. And my, I really liked the kid's character a lot. And the same with uh, Marion as well. I like her character as well. Um, I have to say, I also really, um, really like the nuke scene. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb, but hey, I like Sharknado, so, I, I really like stuff like that, um, so yeah, I mean, I like the Sharknado film, like a shark, shark to puss, yeah, so it's, I was probably gonna like it anyway, so yeah, a bit of a hot take, but I am the king of hot takes, I mean, yeah, I did mean Flash was going the same, but hey, that's a different story for another time. <clears throat> um, I thought the um, <clears throat> the conflict was a lot more interesting in this film um, because you know you have um, his part because essentially speaking. In the beginning, when uh, Indy's partner betrays him, and even later on, he even says, Are you going to remain a good guy or bad or something like that? I forgot. It's been a while since I've seen the movie or entire year, but I, I remember really enjoying it. Um, weirdly enough, the creepy crawlies weren't as hard to watch or like the only should be uncomfortable as in the first three. Even in the first, they're still great movies. Um, yep. I also like how they developed the crystal skull as an alien artifact. Now, the reason why uh, aliens isn't that weird with, in Indiana Jones is because of, um, because in the in Temple of Doom, it's more supernatural like elements, so I don't think it bothers me that well. It, it would bother me in, like, say, like a Batman show. Which is meant to be realistic, like the Nolan verse, instead had like like aliens and supernatural stuff. That and that's a little bit more out of place. I also thought the fight scenes and the chase scenes were probably really good as well. I'd say all films are almost equal in that sense. So I just think I think I might like this one the most. So overall, I'm gonna give Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull an A or an A plus. Uh, unless it's too high, I might go with a B or in just a regular A. So, yep. So it's either A or B. Basically, an A plus or just an A. But that's about it. Uh, we all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.